The purpose of the skill station is boot removal, and as a ski patroller, I can assure you, you will be removing boots over the course of your career. Uh, all we're going to do today is assume that the patient assessment has done, you'll get to do patient assessments like crazy over the course that you're taking, as well as the packaging, stabilization, and splinting of injuries. So we're just going to focus really hard today on how to take a boot off properly without creating a problem for the patient. In this case, the injury is located on the left, and on the right, we also have a boot. And I have found that boots vary from brand to brand, so if you're unsure of how to properly take off the boot on the injured side, I would suggest that you practice on the other boot to make sure that we maintain patient comfort. This is a two rescuer operation, and in this case, my colleague rescuer number one is going to stabilize the left leg and the left boot while I remove the other boot. So I remove the pants up. I look at it as a standard power strap. Since we have a fuzzy blanket, I would strongly suggest that you put the Velcro so that it's all smooth and does not grab the blanket. That could be rather painful for the patient. It's a standard three buckle boot. A nice little bell bellow, I might add. Now, what I'm going to be doing is spreading the boot as best I can to give this patient an opportunity to easily and comfortably slide out of the boot. So, I put my shoulder against the toe, and as I grab the back, I ask the patient to go ahead and point or flex her toes so that I can easily remove the boot. One easy movement. Patient, I'm going to remove your boot, or are you all set with this? Yes. Here we go. Point or flex your toes. And up it comes. Fairly smooth operation. We'll do the same thing on the other side now. So again, we move the power strap. And detach the buckles. You would uh, go ahead and stabilize a little bit more. I want to move the toe away from here so I can get this done. Thank you. Okay. Let's move this up out of the way as best I can. Spread as easily as I can. Okay, I just I have it stabilized. If you would go ahead inside the boot and stabilize the leg and the fracture site. Are you all set? All set. Okay, same thing. We're going to ask you to point or flex your toes as they start to remove this. All set? Yes. Here we go. And if you'll notice, the rescuer has maintained, uh, continued to maintain stability. I'm going to go ahead and check circulation, sensation, and motion to make sure that the blood flow to the extremity has not been compromised at all. At this point, we'd start applying a splint and if necessary, call for medical transportation.